What's up guys, we're here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be talking about the brand new changes to the Helltide in Diablo 4 Season 4. As you can see, we're just kind of grinding through with my brand new Frost, or Frost, Frozen Orb build that we are gearing up for with the new unique and coming in Season 4. So we're gonna talk about a lot of the changes that are coming to the Helltide because boy, did they get better. So let me uh, just kind of scurry off here into the distance so I don't die and get attacked. Uh, but as you guys all know that the Helltide, it respawns every hour. We get a five minute break and it's just up every single hour. And that was the biggest change that they made to it on top of the Living Steels, right? So what changed? That's the question. That's all still the same where we get our two Living Steel chests. We still get our two, uh, we get our Living Steels, the Torture Gift of Living Steels, and we get our uh, Torture Gift of Mysteries. And they still cost the same, right? 275 and 250. And you just go through here and you have the timer to kind of crank things out, right? So what changed? Let's talk about it. I have some images over here and some still shots. If I can bring this stuff up, let me just bring all this stuff up. We got some nice little still shots here. So what changed? That's the biggest thing. What came and changed in Diablo 4 Season 4 for the Helltide? So a couple big changes here, as we see here, I love this little editing and I love to just edit it because it's fun with the markup. So a few things. One is the nice little juicy bar that we have here, which is explained in the dev stream uh, campfire that we had a few days ago. They changed it, this bar. So the big thing here is with this bar is that when you are going through a Helltide, any single event that you're doing, whether you're opening chests, whether you're killing monsters, whether you're doing, um, the actual like open world events. If you do anything in a Helltide, this bar is going to fill up. Once this bar is full, you're gonna get a nice little sound and you're gonna get a monsters that are gonna continuously spawn on top of you that are gonna just attack you out of nowhere. So that is a big change here. This is kind of like a most wanted effect, which once it's done and filled up and those monsters continuously spawn on you, the bar is gonna decrease until it's empty. Once it's empty, you're just gonna rinse and repeat. You're gonna fill the bar and then more monsters are gonna spawn on you. So that is one huge change. The next big one is that we're our monster density. So the density has been changed, okay? Density, I'm not gonna spell it right, but it is what it is. So density, there is a lot more monsters inside the Helltide now. Plenty and plenty and plenty of monsters in the Helltide, which is fantastic. This is something that has really hurt the Helltide, um, you know, since the game basically released. And even before we got these coming up every single hour is that there's just not enough monsters here to really just kind of do a lot of stuff. So it made the grinding of the Helltides pretty boring and just kind of lackluster. And a lot of people just didn't really enjoy doing them. So now that that has been changed, we do have a much higher density, which again gets increased once your bar is full. This is fantastic. Um, I kind of want to just bring this up to you guys and just show you uh, over here on the dev stream so you guys can kind of see. This bar just continuously goes. It's already been filled. You can see how it's just decreasing over time as you're fighting, which is just cool. And see, these monsters just continue to spawn on you, which is just fantastic. So now that he's done, the bar is gone. You just rinse and repeat. You're going to fill this thing back up which is great. That leads me to our next change, okay? So we got better monster density. We got this nice little most wanted bar, which kind of makes it a little bit better, but more monsters is just always good. So the next thing is our brand new, I don't know if you want to call him the Helltide boss, but it is another boss type of character, which is the Hellborn, as you see here, okay? The Hellborn is actually really tough. I mean, I don't want to give too big of a shout out to the devs because this rogue build, even at level 100, is pretty bad. But we have a brand new, like, Helltide type boss, which I think is just fantastic for the game. It gives us something else to fight. Now, this boss, as we know, can just be in here randomly. It can spawn from the ambush that happens from the bosses. Now, another thing to note is, is up here, you see this little boss icon. We don't get to see this boss fight, and I don't know why he does not go down here to fight this boss here. Okay, we got a boss up here. You look up in the top right hand corner. We have this boss icon and we don't get to see what that is. So no spoilers there, guys. I hope we really get to figure that out once the PTR happens. So I'm very much looking forward to that. So we got increased monster density. We got a most wanted bar. We got a brand new boss. 
but what else has changed right what else has changed inside of the hell tie which i think is just fantastic right so another thing that has changed inside the hell tie, i'm going to bring up it into the normal game here so we're going to run over here to these chests you guys all know that these chests are well and good these are items that we're going to or these chests and we're going to open these and we're going to get random items so not only are we going to be able to get the normal items like the helmets and stuff that come out of these we are going to have a chance at any boss ladder item that can drop from these chests that is not only inside of the hell tie but that is game wide so any kind of content that you're going to be doing you have a chance for those and this applies to your uh hell tied chest that you're going to be open including the mystery chest as well as the torture gifts chances small chance but they are there so we do have those changes coming to the hell tide with the items um i'm really hoping that we get more forgotten souls out of these that hasn't been confirmed yet but i hope we get more because i'm always super low on those the next biggest change that i want to talk about leading up into here so we got more density we got a boss which is fantastic right we got most wanted oops, we got a most wanted bar which is great a most wanted bar which is fantastic okay a lot of changes here now we got to go to our next slide because the next big change which i got to give a shout out to my community about is the elixirs we got to talk about these because we mainly get the majority of our elixirs from hell tides and opening chests right you i know that you can find them randomly on the ground when you kill elites elite packs and dungeons etc or you can make them from your um alchemist in town but i want you guys to notice right here that we do have brand new elixirs okay we have an elixir of mo what not filter markup we got elixir of momentum and then we also have another one here uh that's the elixir of momentum elixir of momentum where's my other nope did i not did i not pass it we have another one. Oh, did i not save it this is bad for the video there we go we got another one which is the elixir of holy bolts okay these are two brand new elixirs among many many other elixirs that we're gonna have in the new game these are the only ones that i've seen from the campfire stream so it seems to be like they're gonna be doing a complete rework on elixirs i don't even know how many people know about this um i didn't catch this the first time watching this through or the second time my chat uh actually pointed this out to me which is fantastic so we got elixir of uh holy bolts and then we have elixir of momentum as you guys can see here which i think is great let's get rid of that one let's pull up the other one here right we got that so now we have new elixirs right elix elixes brand new elixirs which is just great i'm not sure what they're going to do guys i don't know what the buffs are going to be i don't know what kind of debuffs they're going to be giving the enemy etc but what i will say is that brand new elixirs is great for the game because as we all know elixirs inside of diablo 4 are pretty much useless you have all the different kinds of elixirs that give you uh, additions to your resistances which is fine you can get more overpower damage you can get you know more crit chance you can get more armor all these things but in reality because of how easy the game is in diablo i don't think i've ever used an elixir outside of leveling a character leveling an alternator character or i all the only other time i actually used a normal one like let's say a weak crushing is when i went and fought lilith for the first time where i wanted increased crit the only other time outside of that is i did use um the weak acrobatics elixirs inside the gauntlet because i was playing teleport blizzard so having the reduce on my evade was very important so i could continue to you know just basically infinitely teleport around the, the map to try to get the best score that i could so it's really great that they're going to be bringing in a, just a brand new set of elixirs. So I'm really excited to see what that is going to be. I'm sure we're going to get more information on that in the uh, patch notes. So these are all the changes that I know that are coming to the Helltide. I think these are really great changes. Oh, one last thing. One last thing. So if you guys do remember that inside of the Helltide or last season, we had the Vamp Tides from last season where we're going to get a bunch of it's kind of similar to this season where we have basically a lot of events that are going on who's attacking me back up who's attacking me like that get out of here 
where we have these seasonal events going on where we end up getting a bunch of the contributions to the tree of whispers the vamp ties last season were such a community favorite they are bringing this in a different way back to the hell tides they're applying it to the hell tides so what i'm really hoping for is that we're going to have more opportunities for these things in each of the sections there's always two sections to a hell tide so i'm hoping that we have a much better chance for those events and the contribution to your tree of whispers which would just be really awesome because it would allow us to have like more purpose to do these right because tree of whispers is lackluster unless you're deliberately going out for them i only really do them with the seasonal um effects here where like you kill the you know you kill the boss you you know open three of these things the three little like towers and stuff and it's really easy to get 11 grim favors and just turn them in then i swap characters and do it again one last thing i did forget shout out to my community again so that way i don't miss any juicy details for you guys one last thing about the hell tide is that it is coming to every single world tier so no longer will you have to wait to get into world tier three this will be available at the start of the game in world tiers one and two all the way up to tier four which is awesome this just allows you to just farm things and this will be another way to be able to level your character if you don't like the kind of like traditional way that we've been grinding whether it's like farming a particular dungeon like domain or if it's go through and doing strongholds or if it's going through and getting carried etc if you want another way to level up i think hell tides is going to be a great way to do that because they're always going to be three levels ahead but the hell ties will be available in all every single world tier that is in the game but anyway guys these are all the changes that are coming to hell tides in season four of diablo four got it so that's a mouthful to say that multiple times but like the video guys comment down below please let me know what you guys think about this do you like these changes or not are you excited about it please let me know down in the comments don't forget to subscribe and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one peace